<laughs> Hi, my name's Kyle. I'm agoraphobic, which means I'm afraid of crowds. I'm also a comedian, which means I'm afraid there might not be a crowd. <laughs> Put that over there. Uh, it's my first time in Sydney. Thanks for having me here at, uh, yeah. Thanks for having me at Cracker Night. <laughs> Cracker in the United States is a derogatory term for white people. <laughs> you might want to tell your visiting comedians that before you book them on a show called Cracker Night. <laughs> a guy like, so what, it's just gonna be a show full of pasty looking honkies? You weren't wrong. Uh, it's great, I got in yesterday, I got to perform at the Sydney Opera House last night. Have you guys been to that dump? Oh. So, uh, no, it was amazing, it was an honor to play there. You know, it's, it, it, that's, it's such an iconic building. You know, not, not a lot of Americans travel. You tell Americans, like, what, are they, what do you think of when you think of Australia? They say two things. They say the Sydney Opera House, and they say koala bears. That's all they know. So for me, as an American, to be able to perform inside of just one of those. <laughs> it's a real pleasure, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. Uh, I've been investing in technology lately. I, I should rephrase that. I've been putting all my money into sex robots. <laughs> I should still rephrase that. I keep my money inside my sex robot. <laughs> I've been fucking a lot of cash machines, you guys. <laughs> a lot of deposits. I'm a, I'm a vegan. Uh, I still eat chicken wings, though. Because <laughs> I found a loophole. You know, veganism, you're supposed to do no harm to the animal. Chicken's a flightless bird. <laughs> I'm not hurting it. I'm unburdening it of the false hope that's been attached to its torso its whole life. <laughs> Think about a poor winged chicken out there looking at regular birds flying around, just wondering, when am I gonna be able to do that? This little angel of mercy comes along and says, never, snippity snip, did you lose weight? You look fabulous. <laughs> I'm not a vegan. <laughs> I am. I am in the last. I'm in the last throes of being an omnivore, though. I know I'll give up meat eating soon. I'm in the end of it. I'll still eat meat, but I have to come up with character flaws for the animal to justify why I'm eating it. I don't know if anybody's at that point, you know. Like I'll still eat a cheeseburger, but while I'm eating it in my head, I'm like, you know, the cow that made this cheeseburger cheated on his girlfriend. <laughs> Unacceptable! <laughs> Infidelity never tasted so good. Justice has been served with some fries. That's a dumb joke, I'll never do it again. Um, and also, I know cows are ladies, but it's my joke, whatever, I'll say it how I want. But see, that philosophy's gonna come and bite me in the ass, so I like to go camping. Where I go camping, there's bears, and bears eat people. So a bear's gonna see me in my tent and be like, ooh, sack lunch, pre-packaged. <laughs> come over, tear it open, about to devour me. I'm gonna try and defend myself using logic, because I'm not a big man. I'm gonna use my words and be like, whoa, bear, you don't wanna eat me. You wanna think twice, because I'm almost a vegetarian, which pretty much makes me an animal rights activist, because I won't shut the fuck up about it. So you really, you wanna think twice, because if you eat me, that's one less person out in the world fighting for you to survive. So you think about what you're gonna do. And the bear's gonna be like, yeah, well, we heard that you made your sister cry at her own wedding. And I'm like, Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, there's so many layers to this now. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. My sister's not even married. And the bear's gonna be like, yeah, but we're just coming up with fictional scenarios to justify our actions. <laughs> touche, bear, touche. <laughs> what do you want, salt and pepper? The classics. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Sydney, you've been great. Thank you very much. <laughs>